Now let's move to physics. What would the physics suggest about thinking about the function from a plane to a plane? Well, physics uh, has different ways to think about such a function. I will represent here and will pick one way, and the reason I will pick it is because I will use it later in this course. I will use it a lot. Um, the way is an assignment. Well, the way is uh, uh, to consider a plane as media. Think of plane filled with gas or uh, liquid, water. And then think of every point of a plane moving in that plane. And as every single point is moving, physicists would like to think about vector, which is velocity vector of that point. And they assign a vector to each point And somehow this assignment illustrates somehow the motion that you observe in this fluid or gas. And by looking at this bunch of vectors, and vectors should be everywhere in the plane, right? Because the whole plane is moving. Well, we can identify the pattern and we can guess that, well, this is probably something like circulation about some center, possibly. So this is a way to think about uh, physics approach, but assigning a vector to every point on a plane doesn't even sound like a function from a plane to a plane. So how to even think about this as a function from a plane to a plane? Well, the way to think about it is to take the input as a point in the xy plane. So you take a point with coordinates x, y, and then you have to assign a vector. And that vector has to have coordinates, and those are exactly those, u and v. So you assign to each point a vector u, v. And now you see there is only little difference between geometric approach and physics. In geometry, you assign to a point another point. In physics, you assign to a point a vector. That difference will change the point of view and we will, well, we will see later how much difference it makes. So how to even think about it? Well, we think about it as a flow of, let's say, gas. Well, let's just think about flow of something. So something media is moving, and as every point moves, we, we consider velocity vector attached to, the, to that point. So what would be examples? Examples of flows. Well, easy flows that we can understand. Well, the probably easiest flow is when every point on a plane is moving with the same velocity. So all the vectors assigned to the points are going to be exactly the same. Well, let's call this constant flow. This flow is the same everywhere in the plane. And another example would be when you have circulation around some center. So you have this, well, let's just call it circulation, this motion ar around the center. And of course, you know that uh, if you go further from the center, the velocity, so the speed increases. So the speed is proportional to the distance to the center. And the center doesn't move, of course. So everything is just 
rotating around the center. So this, this is how uh, velocities look like, as you consider rotation of, well, let's say of the plane as rigid object around the center. So that's an easy example. You can think of a wheel, right? A round wheel rotating, and then these vectors will represent velocities of the points of the wheel. And of course, the further you go from the center, the greater speed is of that point.